Have you ever wondered what lurks on the dark web? Is it as terrifying and dangerous as people make it seem? Or is it just another misunderstood corner of the internet? Before we dive into the myths and realities of the dark web, let's first clarify the difference between the deep web and the dark web. These two terms are often used interchangeably, but mean very different things. The deep web refers to parts of the internet that aren't indexed by standard search engines like Google. This includes things like private emails, cloud storage files, and databases, basically anything behind a password. On the other hand, the dark web is a small portion of the deep web, accessible only with special software like the TOR browser. This is where things get murky. While the dark web can host some legitimate activity, it has also become notorious for illegal activities like drug trafficking, identity theft, and more. Now that we know what the dark web is, let's tackle the first myth. The dark web is only used for illegal activities. While it's true that the dark web is home to many illegal markets, it also serves other purposes. Activists, whistleblowers, and even journalists use the dark web to communicate securely and anonymously. For instance, platforms like SecureDrop allow whistleblowers to submit sensitive information without fear of retaliation. So while illegal activities are a big part of the dark web, it's not exclusively used for crime. Another common myth is that simply visiting the dark web will get you hacked or put you in danger. This is partly true, but only if you don't take the proper precautions. The dark web itself won't hack you. After all, it's just another part of the internet. However, if you're not careful and start clicking on shady links or downloading unknown files, you could expose yourself to malware or phishing attacks. If you ever do access the dark web for research purposes, it's crucial to have security tools like a VPN and malware protection in place. Many people think that everything on the dark web is completely anonymous and untraceable. But here's the reality. Law enforcement has gotten very good at tracking illegal activity on the dark web. Governments around the world have developed sophisticated methods to trace transactions and identify criminals. In fact, many major dark web marketplaces, like the Silk Road, have been taken down thanks to coordinated efforts between international agencies. Remember, no system is perfect, and staying anonymous online, whether on the dark web or anywhere else, requires more than just using Tor. Another common misconception is that you need to be a hacker or a tech expert to even access the dark web. In reality, anyone with basic computer skills can download the TOR browser and access the dark web. It's not illegal to access it, but it's what you do there that matters. So there you have it. While the dark web certainly has a dark side, it's also home to legitimate uses. The key is to understand the risks and not fall for common myths. Here's an interesting fact. The dark web is actually tiny compared to the rest of the internet. The surface web, which includes all the websites you can access with Google or Bing, only makes up about 5% of the entire internet. The deep web is much larger, but the dark web is only a fraction of that. Experts estimate that the dark web makes up less than 0.01% of the internet. So while it's infamous, it's not as massive as it seems. Still, the dark web has a disproportionate influence on public perception because of the illegal activity associated with it. But in reality, most internet users will never come across dark web sites. You may be wondering how people manage to stay anonymous on the dark web in the first place. That's where the TOR network comes in. TOR stands for the Onion Router, and it's a specialized browser designed to protect users' identities. When you browse the regular internet, your connection is direct from you to the website. But on the dark web, using TOR, your data is routed through multiple encrypted layers or nodes. Each node only knows the next step, not the full path. It's like sending a letter through multiple locked mailboxes. This makes it much harder to trace where the request is coming from. But remember, Tor doesn't make you invincible. It's just one layer of protection. To truly stay safe, Dark web users often combine Tor with other tools like VPNs, strong encryption, and specialized operating systems. The more layers, the harder it is for someone to trace your steps, but no system is foolproof. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to join our Discord server with the link you will find in the comment section. Till the next time, stay safe.